Hey guys, uh, I want to share my experience with the Raspberry Pi uh, set up in my car to show you what I did. So, uh, the Raspberry Pi is set. I took the cover off to, to show you. It's fitted under the, the compartment. So, when I start uh, the ignition. Starts automatically. There's actually also my uh, messenger installed in the car. Switched off. It's making enough noise. So uh, this point is uh, obviously starts automatically, and then uh, it has like a keyboard connected uh, with a small dongle, and the memory card. I mean uh, the flash disk. The one with eight gigs. So when it starts, uh, it uh, looks at the for, the for the video folder inside the. So that's my script. It actually sleeps for like a couple, uh, I think 20 seconds, just to uh, wait for this um, uh, USB disk to, ma to be mounted. And then. So, uh, and then it looks at the video folder and uh, there's a small simple script just basically loops in uh, and uh, plays every video so what that i do i give it kind of this uh, small usb remote keyboard to my to my kids and if they want to go to the next one I just gonna present you that even you press uh, escape it goes in a loop to the next one the next video and you can uh, also skip forward Arrow up. If you press arrow up, or oh, I think that's fast forward and uh, slow forward. And yeah, uh, just when they actually, yeah, just any number of the videos inside the uh, this USB stick. And I've got a couple USB sticks. One kind of for my kids with a video, and another USB stick uh, maybe with uh, some uh, education material for myself. I listen on the way to work. Uh, like Google Cloud or anything I fancy. Uh, that's also my setup. I've got like fitted uh, TomTom just as a backup to uh, uh, car, kind of the phone uh, navigation. And the best things actually about this uh, fitting a Raspberry Pi, which is very cheap. So I got this uh, screens for uh, I think twenty pounds uh, in UK. Also, when you put a reverse. Uh, the nice about the screens, they kind of accept uh, the second input. So when they got the signal, 12 volts on uh, the special cable, they uh, switch to second input, which uh, I had uh, previously installed the reversing camera. I'll just show you how it works. So I've got it still connected. So then it switched to AV2. At the moment, the camera is disconnected, uh, there, so I cannot show you the input, but uh, just you get idea. And actually, so the, the best things about this cheap uh, kind of the video player for Raspberry Pi uh, using Raspberry Pi is that I use analog output, and you can very easily split it. So if I show you, works. Actually, the back I've got two other screens, and they, they play exactly the same what you have in in the front. So just yeah, twenty quid per screen, thirty quid for the Raspberry Pi. This one actually. Stop working recently. I uh, have to find out why debug. And also, the way I've connected it to uh, the, the, the restrooms, uh, I show you. I just did a dirty hack. It's actually, I uh, just saw them to the to this has a headrest because I didn't want to like spend 50 pounds or something for just uh, mount for you for the screen. So I thought this kind of and it worked. It's kind of quite stable. Yeah, as you can you can see it works yeah uh, the kind of there some other ideas I have to what to do with this uh, planning to fit a physical kind of switch to connect it to and fit it somewhere here in a car and uh, so I can actually change it uh, the kind of with forward or play different playlists uh, by pressing the different buttons using GPIO in uh, in a Raspberry Pi and then like for the ne next button also to display the uh, cars engine statistics using the EL, elm 
Oh, so I think interesting also I've learned to piss some while you you may find useful is about the audio because uh, a lot of people say uh, this. Uh, so show you actually so I'm using the basically the the ground loop uh, isolator. Uh, the idea is to kind of fit it, hide it somewhere. Because a couple of couple quit. Uh, so I'll show you kind of how the, the, the different is actually. Yeah, I'll have to. Actually, so one of the extra pro, uh, uh, projects is to install the power bank. So actually, it works when I start the engine, it doesn't restart the Raspberry Pi because I'll have to go to petrol station or stop for a while. Then the, the video plays from the beginning and the, the kids are kind of annoyed because they. They have to again search the where they stopped last watching. So that's yeah, another uh, idea. Uh, the way actually I've connected the audio also in this uh, Nissan Primera is I've installed the second uh, second uh, audio player because the, the built-in in one in uh, in Nissan actually doesn't I didn't. I didn't want to spend too much time actually uh, finding out how to. I mean, it wasn't not possible. I spent some time. I couldn't connect to the amplifier directly. But also, I have to leave the old one. As you can see here, the reason is because if you remove it completely, the old uh, audio player, then the, it's just basically displaying the error message. Or oh, actually, was the screen also just blank, on the, and then you cannot see the info about the uh, your your journey. Or basically the yeah, it's kind of pretty. I like this uh, computer inside the Nissan Primera. It's quite advanced for the for the age of the car. Yeah, so now I uh, show could present you how what why they install the loop is isolator. So if you play it now and just go to uh, if I show you how it's different is with the loop isolator and uh, without. So now I'm gonna connect it without loop isolator. I'm gonna plug it directly from Raspberry Pi to. Let's see if you can hear the the noise in the, inside the uh, in in the speakers. Basically, without loop isolator, it's uh, when it's the car is stationary, it's fine. It doesn't matter if you have a loop isolator or not. But then, uh, when you have a loop isolator, uh, without loop isolator, when the engine is running, you still get this noise inside the in, in the speakers, which is a bit annoying. And I use it from the beginning without this loop isolator, it worked. Uh, it just kind of my wife got annoyed, saying uh -huh. it was getting kind of, uh, nervous. So a little bit of googling, and I found the. Uh, on uh, Amazon, this uh, loop isolator for a couple of quid. And yeah, I have it here because I'm uh, kind of switching the. When I connect my phone, I connect it directly. Uh, with the phone, actually, this is the same. Uh, I had to use this loop isolator. It's not only just Raspberry Pi specific, it's actually in generic uh, because you need to uh, loop isolator to. Because you have a like mechanic engine. Alright, uh, give me a shout if you have any questions or you want me to share a script from. Uh, I've, I've, I've uh, set on a Raspberry Pi. It's pretty simple. Uh, anyone can really write it, but if you think it will be useful for you, then happy to share it and leave a thumbs up if, uh, if you like the video and share your ideas about the Raspberry Pi in a car. Because uh, yeah, I think it could be kind of uh, giving some ideas and uh, some you know I've, I've seen it in the car and my uh, friend from work, uh, Colin, who had it in his Citroen. I really like it. it had to be different because he had this uh, Raspberry Pi inside the kind of hanging out somewhere. So when I put this cover back, it actually looks uh, you know you don't see it. Uh, uh, yeah, there's still some work to do, but kind of there's a quick job you can do it within maybe a couple hours, and uh, so it's uh, quite rewarding. Especially if you've got the kids, so you have a long journey to work, and you wanna maybe you know in the traffic you wanna listen for the something uh, from uh, uh, you know. 
and you are not uh, like obviously uh, limited if you have like built-in car, uh, car video players they kind of kind of uh, force you not to uh, watch to switch your video basically when a car is moving and now you can you do whatever you want with your raspberry pi okay i think it's enough uh, talking 10 minutes video hope you don't get too bored and uh, if you got till the end uh, cheers and bye bye